At MatterHackers, we pride ourselves in offering the widest selection of 3D printers available. It helps us reach our goal of giving anyone the power to make anything. This of course means offering a selection of quality machines at an affordable price so 3D printing is accessible for everyone. Let's take a look at five of the best FDM 3D printer options that are under $1,000 and available now. Anytime budget is mentioned, you can expect to hear about Creality. While they had been around prior, Creality's presence in the 3D printing market exploded with their introduction of the CR10. It was one of the most effective 3D printers ever, in terms of dollar per cubic millimeter, that can produce some fantastic 3D prints. Since then, Creality has developed nearly a dozen new printers building off this initial platform, like the CR10S Pro, a polished successor to the original CR10 that still allows you the freedom to upgrade it as you choose, like a Bontech Direct Drive printhead or a Wham Bam flexible bed system. Alternatively, you have the Ender series, generally smaller form factor 3D printers fit for hobbyists that wants to keep their 3D printer right on their desk, like the new Ender 3 V2, which takes all the features of the Ender 3 and improves upon them, like the new full color display, quiet stepper drivers, and improved airflow for part cooling. Or take it a different direction and get the Ender 5 Plus, a behemoth of a 3D printer with a 350 by 350 by 400 millimeter build volume that can get even a full size helmet printed out in one piece. With Creality, you can find many options to suit your needs without breaking the bank. The Monoprice Voxel is a small 3D printer that's designed to be unboxed and 3D printing within minutes. Featuring a 2.8 inch full color touchscreen, navigation is intuitive for users of all levels. Pair that with the Voxel's fully enclosed design, and this machine is a perfect fit for workshops or classrooms that need to keep dust and debris, or curious hands, away from the moving components. Alternatively, the Monoprice Maker Ultimate 2 is also fully enclosed and has the capabilities to bring its bed to 100 degrees Celsius, which makes it a perfect fit for printing with ABS. With a glass bed and an automatic bed leveling sensor, you can print with a wide variety of materials with confidence that, with the right adhesive solution, anything will stick to the glass. It's the perfect baseline for any 3D printer bed. If you're looking at either of these two 3D printer options and thinking that the build volumes offered just aren't big enough, then the Monoprice MP10 will excite you. A 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter build volume means you are basically unstoppable with what you can 3D print. An all metal extruder, heated and flexible bed, assisted bed leveling, and resume print functionality make this a 3D printer that checks all the boxes. Monoprice's options, you just mainly need to decide if you want to print big or print enclosed. What better way to maximize your budget than building a 3D printer to your specifications? The MatterHackers Pulse 3D printer was designed to be customized by you, down to the hot end and mainboard. Pick and choose which components interest you and that will help you accomplish your 3D printing goals. Even without any of the optional upgrades, the Pulse is a robust platform. A 24 volt system means faster heat ups, a genuine BL touch for automatic bed leveling, Capricorn XS Bowden tubing for a constrained filament path, all built upon the sturdy all aluminum body with components 3D printed in Pro Series Rhino. And as a bonus, any upgrade that you choose to add to your fully assembled Pulse printer is installed and calibrated in-house by the pros at MatterHackers, so you can start printing with your customized machine as soon as it's delivered. Refurbished 3D printers are a great way to get printers that would normally be out of your price range. We talk about this more in depth in our video right here. There are generally two conditions you can find refurbished printers, A stock and B stock. A stock 3D printers will be like new with only some minor blemishes and wear, like scuffs on the frame or some filament around the nozzle. The original box, which may have some wear, and with almost everything still included, like filament, extra nozzles, instruction manual, items of that nature. Although there may be non-essential items missing like a glue stick. B stock 3D printers might have some additional wear and may not even have the original box, but the printer itself is fully functional and performs just as you would expect a brand new out of the box printer would. If there's a specific brand that you've always had your eye on, but is still slightly out of your budget, a refurbished 3D printer is a great way to go. If you need to print with advanced materials like MatterHackers Carbon Fiber Reinforced Nylon X, then choosing the Pulse XE bundle is the best option for you. It's not only ready to print functional parts straight from the box, but it's affordable as well, clocking in just under $1,000. Each of the upgrades have been handpicked by the pros at MatterHackers to make this 3D printer ready to handle abrasive filaments from the get-go, including an LCD for untethered control, E3D V6 all-metal hotend for higher temperature 3D printing, a hardened steel nozzle for abrasive filaments, and a Gerolite build surface to make printing with nylon a breeze. Finding a 3D printer that is just right for you can be complex, yet often the easiest way to break it down is to figure out what is the most you would want to spend on a new machine and see where that takes you. 
Also, you can rest easy knowing that anything you purchase from MatterHackers is protected by our lowest price guarantee. And the pros at MatterHackers are always here to offer their professional opinion based on what your specific 3D printing needs are. Best of luck searching for the printer at the price that makes you happy. I'm Malik from MatterHackers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our video on budget 3D printers. As a matter of fact, I got my start with 3D printing with a budget 3D printer, and I'm excited to see how far they've come since then. If you want to read some in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.